Oh hi, it's Rob, and I'm in the kitchen again. Going to be doing something tonight. I have a friend that's visiting who is on the keto diet and has asked me to make dinner. Um, so, I'm going to try and make a keto dinner. What I have are some cod fillets and some portobello mushrooms and some vegetables. And I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're going to try it and see what happens. Okay, first bit I want to do, probably the one that's going to take the longest to cook, is the portobello mushroom caps. I'm going to be doing these uh, on the grill. I actually have it set for smoking, so I'm going to do a kind of a low and slow smoky bit. I have no idea if that's going to work, but we're going to find out. These are nice and organic. They were expensive in the store, and they look all pretty and stuff. Let's see, they look on the others. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, some with stems, some without. Hmm. Hmm. Mushroomy. Okay, there are those that will tell you that taking the stems out of the portobellos is better because the stems are a little more woody than the meat. I'll agree to that. I'm not going to deal with it too badly. Well, let's get some of the uh, crumby stuff off. Take out some of the uh, some of the skirt. Ooh. Okay, I've heard a couple different ideas of whether or not to leave the gills in or not. For me, with when they're fresh, the gills are fine. They're perfectly fine to leave in. They kind of help hold in the spices. I like cooking these with the caps, you know, the cap down so that all the stuff that we put in there gets to be all flavorful and everything. So I'll show you that in a second. Now, one of the things I like to do is use an extra virgin olive oil with these, but I am out of extra virgin olive oil. So I am using a little bit of avocado oil. They are not the same, but you definitely want some sort of oil in here. I'm probably going to put in a little bit of butter as well, but just for now, I want to get an oil base. I'm also using a little bit of smoked sea salt. Just a little, not a lot. Just dropping it in there. A little bit of flavor. I like the smokiness, but I'm going to be smoking these, or trying to at any rate. Freshly ground purple spiders. I'm also using a little bit of dried garlic powder. You could use fresh garlic here, but for my money, Grill cooking with garlic powder seems to work better than with fresh garlic. Oh, I've got healthy dogs. Okay. Added a little bit of butter to each one. Uh, this is a special butter, but I won't tell you secret ingredient. And then, my favorite ingredient, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. This is part of why I like having those gills in, because the balsamic will get into those. That will help keep some of the flavor. Okay, I'm going to go take this, put it on the smoker, and then i uh, going to leave that sit for a while and get to some more prep. This time, asparagus, or as they are known collectively, asparagus. Uh, the wooden part of the stem is the part that you don't want to go on, so there's a real easy way. So that's a really nice way to know where to break. So we cut about a little more than an inch off the ends. Go about there. In case you're wondering, this is a Melmac bowl. This is my last Melmac that I have. Uh, the rest of them have seen better days gone by the wayside and have been lost and forlorn over many, many years. Adding a little bit of grapeseed oil here. Again, I don't have olive oil. I don't know why I don't have olive oil. It kind of pisses me off. I should have olive oil. Um, Again, some 
powdered uh, garlic. You can do many, many things here. Um, also, I'm liking whoop. Also, I'm liking balsamic, but it does not stick very well. So we have to uh, fart around with this quite a bit. Cooking is very messy, by the way, in case you hadn't uh, gathered that. Try to get as much flavor into these little top bits as I can. Okay, going to put these out on the smoker as well. Though this looks like broccoli, it is broccolini. A little bit different than broccoli, but you can treat it much the same. Well, that was kind of a wasted shot. Broccolini. I'm going to be doing much the same with the uh, olive oil and balsamic. Or, not olive oil. This grapeseed oil. I'm kind of disappointed in that whole thing. You probably already recognize these. These are very, very thin, long pumpkins. Uh, we want to take off some of the uh, grosser bits. These are just the regular store-bought ones. I mean, I didn't go whole hog and get the you know, crazy random variety of all the different colors because, you know, that was just a little too much. Um, I do have more of these that I'm going to put out on the grill as well. Uh, but these are going for a little special case. Okay, for my money, nothing beats the shred. I don't know what you want to call these. Yeah, these are all peels. You know, there's a lot of vitamins in the peels. Uh, I'm going to reserve that out for some soup stock. Oh, it's better to have a sharp one. There we go. Have a nice little pile of uh, shredded carroty bits. Those are actually kind of nice. I'm chopping the remaining bits of the carrot after the, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, the slicing, the skinning, the, the, the fun thing with the, with the tool. I'm taking these into slightly bigger chunks. Um, I want to try and keep them relatively thin. I mean, they're not as paper thin as the other things. These are a little chunkier. Um, mostly because my knife skills are not that good. But we'll put these in give them a little bit more time to tenderize before the other stuff. Some long green things. I forget what they're called. I'm pretty sure someone knows. Cut these up into slightly smaller pieces. Not all of them because we want a little bit of variety and chaos in our cooking. Because chaos and cooking both start with a K. Alright, I'm breaking out the, uh, the big pan here. This is the large 12 inch. I don't have a good uh, 12 inch you know, nice antique 12 inch pan. And I've got them in, you know, 10 inches and smaller. And they are really lovely, but you know, this big, I'll live with it. Grape seed oil, I'll let that heat up. Uh, check on the stuff that's on the smoker, and that seems to be going okay. Just getting up to speed. Uh, we're up to heat, I guess. I'm going to do a little flick test. And it seems like it's pretty good. Alright. First off, the carrot chunks.
The red idea is cook until tender. These are pretty close. I'm adding the juice of half a lemon. What I have here are four cod fillets that I have uh, previously done a little bit of spicing on. Uh, these are Old Bay because I'm, you know, trying to fulfill a particular taste of someone who might be a little bit picky. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick that I either learned in culinary school or made up on the spot, depending on how it turns out. Got your uh, little uh, peeler and a cold stick of butter. Okay, these are going into the center of a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven. Not centigrade because that will go very quickly. 400 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, these are done. They are going into a separate bowl. Okay, bumping the pan up a little bit back to a uh, more, a little higher temperature. And we're going to throw in some more of the magic butter. Some people call them onions. I like to call them flavor wrinkles. Okay, so those are just about set. Um, gonna toss in some of the bottom parts from some green onions. Get the one with the tentacles out of there. Close back up for a second. Add in some diced garlic. around a bit, reduce the heat down to medium low. Actually, it's a little lower than that. And pour all this back in. Do this with a little balsamic vinegar. Okay, this is going to be quick. So the green top from the onions.
Mother fuck, fuck it. Okay? Yeah. It's just like I went back to the 12 inch pan. Oh. And uh man she's heavy. Oh yeah. Ugh. Oh, it's so pretty. Plating for two. All right, plated, plated, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't perfect, but uh, neither gorgeous. am I. It's gorgeous. It'll work for now. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna deliver this one and see how it goes. Yeah.